Hi, welcome to Cooking with Alex, and today we are going to make some skink food. So starting off, we're going to add some butternut squash in our blender, and we're going to blend it all up just to make it easier to mix. We got a little bit of turnip greens. We're going to put those in, stem and all, and if we miss and spill, we'll get those later. Now, right here, we have some chicken gizzards, and we chose gizzards because they are a little more nutritious than the breast, and also they are a little cheaper, too, which ain't a bad thing. And then we are going to put on top of this, we got our calcium, our bee pollen, and spirulina. And the bee pollen and the spirulina are really good. You know, they got extra nutrients. You know, they're kind of like superfoods. So we're going to start off by blending this all up. In case if you miss it while it's going fast, we added apple snails also. So we got everything out of the blender all mixed up. So we're going to add our dog food. We're going to add three different kinds of grain-free dog food. We're just going to dump it in, then mix everything up. And each one of these is a little different. We got turkey and chicken and then lamb and beef. We're trying to give, you know, as much variety as possible. Mix it up real good. Some of the green you see is from the spirulina. It has a habit of turning a lot of stuff green, but also from the turnip greens. Put that there. And then down in the description, we'll uh, put a detailed note of all the ingredients in case you want to make your own. We don't do this every feeding. You know, some will do straight dog food. Some will be a more mix of more meats and vegetables. And then another common question we get on some people, they want to know, like, how much do you give your adults once a week? And some of it's going to depend on the exact animal. You know, your females that are pregnant are going to need a little more. Whereas, you know, your males are going to be so much more maintenance. You know, you don't want to get them too fat. So we got everything mixed up pretty good here. So we use quarter uh, plates for our feeding. That way it's a little easier. You don't have to wash, you know, 50 different food bowls or however many skinks you got. So you get a scoop. You plop it on there. So about that for adult once a week nice to mix and then pretty much that's it for today's video of cooking with alex if you know you like it put in the comments we can do more you know and thanks for stopping by like and subscribe